virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. What I like about immersive technology in general is its ability to promote problem solving, engagement, interaction, meaningful experiences, and personalized experiences for our learners. We've talked about the ISTE standards for students. We know that ISTE defines themselves as a framework for students, educators, administrators, coaches, and computer science educators to rethink education and create innovative learning environments. The standards are helping educators and education leaders worldwide re-engineer schools and classrooms for digital age learning, no matter where they are on the journey to be effective ed tech integrations. Let's discuss a little bit about the differences between virtual reality and augmented reality. Virtual reality requires a device that you place on your head in order to immerse yourself in a 360 experience, such as Google goggles. Whereas augmented reality creates an overlay where you scan something and then um, it activates the reality on a device of some kind. We can certainly have augmented reality at our fingertips. Again, we have a trigger image that is used to activate the digital layer on our phone or another digital device and we can interact with it. In this video, my niece is utilizing what we call quiver vision. We downloaded a page, printed it out, and we are able to color it. When we scanned utilizing the quiver vision app, the page came to life and we were easily able to see her work come to life. The same is true with the picture that you see here. Below over on the bottom right hand side here is the quiver vision page full of pumpkins. When we scanned the pumpkin page, her pumpkins came to she was able to touch the different pumpkins and they bounced around and did fun things. At the time, she was two years old. Virtual reality fully immerses ourselves in the digital experience by putting us into the environment around us. Mixed reality is also at our fingertips. We have a phys physical object that we can touch and feel, which triggers the digital objective such as the merge cube in this picture. Here, Allie is again, just over two years old and we have our merge cube here on the left. And when I scanned the merge cube utilizing one of the merge cube apps, it came to life and she was able to interact. She could also pick up the merge cube and turn it and twist it and see different angles of each of the different apps. We're able to combine digital interactions with our experience, also creating again that hands-on experience. Click the link so that you can watch a quick video on the Merge Cube and its awesomeness. What are some benefits of utilizing immersive technology in our classroom? According to Jamie Donnelly, learning to utilize technology in the immersive classroom, our classrooms and teaching methods are, are evolving because we are constantly adapting to the needs of our students. We're searching for tools that adapt to individual preferences and customizing the experience based on the needs of the individual students themselves. Immersive technology offers powerful tools that we can harness to provide these personalized and custom learning experiences. Other benefits that I see of utilizing immersive technology in the classroom is that it changes the way that students interact with their world and therefore the way they learn their subject content. There are so many pre-made resources already available to you. And if you're able to print AR enabled worksheets, it allows the students the chance to engage with AR at home. Similarly to the way we saw with the Merge Cube video previously, imagine holding that heart in your hand is so much more impactful than looking at a worksheet, a flat 2D worksheet and labeling the pieces. Can make class trips more informative, Students are already arriving to school with smartphones and tablets. They're readily available, so why not utilize the resources that they have? We have the ability to gain a deeper understanding and exploration of key concepts they might not otherwise be able to explore in real life as they're engaging with multiple images. It benefits those who have a visual memory and helps improve concepts. 
And certainly, hopefully by now, you're kind of interested and it has stimulated a little bit of curiosity on how you can utilize immersive technology to make lessons more entertaining. Here's some resources that utilize immersive technology. The first is I Explore Books. You can click this link utilizing the lesson slides that are in our class, our, our uh, Blackboard classroom. Um, I Explore Books. I have a few of them in my office, so if you are interested in utilizing or coming to experience them, please do so. I Explore Books is a, a set of books that you download, the, the book you purchase. Um, I think I pick, got, on, got them on Amazon for a couple dollars each. And then you download, there's, uh, each book has its own uh, app that you would download, and the app is free for each of the books. And then it brings the book to life. I believe I have The Extinct Predators. I have a Underwater World one. I have a bug book, and I also have Dinosaurs. So it really brings them to life. And you're able to explore those each individual animals more in depth. Quiver Vision, here is the one that you saw earlier with the pumpkins coming to life in the platonic solids in that quick video. Utopia 4 cards are a great activity. Clicking this link will allow you to um, experience and get to see the Utopia 4D cards as well. I also have a set of Alamo History cards that are in my office. By scanning these particular cards, it brings the Alamo of history to life and it allows interaction when you're placing more than one card next, next to each other or more than one piece. It allows them to interact, uh, the characters to interact with each other as well as other items as well, which is a really cool experience for learners. What we're going to be able to do is create our own merge cube. And I have a template for you to utilize within our Blackboard classroom. But I want to talk and bring you to our Merge Miniverse website and talk a little bit about the website itself. One that we're going to be interested in is in the Merge Cube itself. All of these apps we can download and are accessible and able to utilize with our Merge Cube that we're going to build. You'll notice that some of them are for free and some of them are not for free. All the ones that you're going to have access to and have the opportunity to explore with your physical Merge Cube that you're going to build are all going to be for free. I do have a couple of learners who utilize cellular AR. They actually purchased this because they were in a biology class and they really liked it. So it's completely up to you if you choose to download um, a non-free app. I also have the Shapes 3D drawing one on my iPad. Again, if you are near my office and want to come check that out, I'd be more than happy to share with you. The headset one. Any of these will work with a Google Goggle or of any type of virtual reality headset. And you'll notice in some of the ones that you're going to download, we'll have the option to utilize in uh, VR headset mode or just phone mode. And you'll utilize the one with the phone or tablet mode of your choice. But this is where you'll go um, with our Merge Cube to pick which one you want. Let's say you're interested in learning more about a 3D museum. Um, depending upon which type of uh, phone you have, you'll want to click the correct icon and then it brings you to um, where you can download the particular app uh, depending upon which device that you have reality goggles or Google goggles. I have some in my office again if you're nearby. If not, that's okay. You can buy Google goggles online, I believe, under Amazon for under $10, but not required for the course. YouTube has an official 360 video that you could utilize with the Google goggles and experience some really interesting things. I had a few students who dove into the ocean and was a, they were a penguin for a day and got to see what it was like to swim swim through the ocean as a penguin gathering food. Um, another one was in a plane crash and they were able to witness what it would the experience would be like.
So what we're going to do this week is you're going to explore immer an immersive technology and I'm going to give you this particular um, link here so that you can download and print your very own Merge Cube. Um, again, Merge Cube is a hologram and you can hold it in your hand. It is AR, VR, and mixed reality. It works with both iOS and Android devices and even compatible with AR, VR goggles. Not all apps are free. The Anatomy AR is a perfect example of that for the Merge Cube. I had a couple of learners, again, uh, purchase this app because they were very interested in it. So go ahead and click the link if you're interested in seeing what a, the paid version looks like um, as they kind of walk us through their um, evaluation of it. Another really great app that works with Merge Cube is called the Object Viewer app, um, and it works with Tinkercad. So if you're interested in and excited about coding, um, you can code with Tinkercad utilizing either drag and drop boxes, as I did here and just created a geometric figure, um, or you could utilize um, just the features of dragging in physical 3D objects and then adjusting the size of them to create cool things. So here we created in Math 277 last uh, spring semester, we created a snowflake and we talked about symmetry, we talked about angles and all kinds of things associated with it as we built it within Tinkercad. I exported this snowflake as a .obj, so as an object which is a really cool thing. You could utilize the .obj if you were going to then go ahead and 3D print. But as dot, and a .obj, what I was able to do then with both my um, 3D figure and my snowflake was upload that .obj to my Merge Cube Object Viewer app. And then when I opened up the Merge Cube app, the Object Viewer after I had downloaded it, I was a easily able to see um, both my snowflake and my 3D object and I'll show you what it looks like within the app as I'm utilizing my merge cube. So there's the snowflake we had created. I'm holding it in my hand with my merge cube and now I'm going to change the viewer so I'm going to view and look at my uh, 3D object with my cylinder and my cone. So a real great way to see things up close and kind of hold on to those things that we're creating. Um, so your ultimate goal is to understand the similarities and differences between immersive technologies using a Venn diagram and to fully explore at least three different immersive technologies provided on the next slides and we're going to cover them. You're going to use the next slides to think about and respond to the following for each immersive technology which, with which you explore. Describe what your immersive technology is about and what it does, perhaps an appropriate grade level, applicable subject, and it can be more than one, and at least three possible uses for the, for the app and ed, such as activities or other classroom project resources examples, and your overall rating for the app. You're going to choose one augmented reality app, such as World Brush, Orb, Google Spotlight Stories, or Creator AVR, one of these that interest you. And then you're going to choose two different Merge Cube apps that you're going to download and take a look at. You will need to follow the directions utilizing Merge Cube. Each Merge Cube comes with its own unique code on it. And since you are not required to buy your own Merge Cube, they're about $20 on Amazon for one. What you can do is utilize my email address. So you're going to download the app, two different apps from this slide here of your choice. And you're going to, it's going to ask you if you have a verification code. And you're going to say, yes, I do have a verification code. When it asks you and prompts you to sign into the account, use my email address. It won't ask for a password. But what that triggers is an email to come to my, to my email. And then I have to approve that, yes, it's okay that you utilize my account. So it takes some time. So do not wait till the end of the week to do this because you 
if you're up at 2 a.m. working on this project and downloading apps, I won't be able to access and give you access until the morning. So be patient with that portion. Um, so do this early on in the week, downloading those apps. Um, once I verify that it's okay for you to you for you to utilize my account, you'll immediately have access and you'll be able to go ahead and start scanning your merge cube and holding it in your hand. So have fun with this project and I look forward to seeing uh, your thoughts and ideas on immersive technology as we dive into it a little bit this week.